Ashley and I are here at Nick's Nightclub for our West Coast Swing class of dance. Thank you for everybody who came out tonight for our class. Uh, what was taught is a move actually called the Daryl, and it's called the Daryl simply because it was shown to me by a friend of mine named Daryl. So we named it after him. It's a very cool group. So what it looks like, we'll do it first, and then we'll show you how to do it. So we do a sugar, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight to the same position. Then we'll do a little drag and get her out of it, or whatever you feel like doing. Okay, it's a really simple move. It's off of a whip, but it's pretty cool. Let's polish it. So how we did that, I'm going to go on this side so you can see her more than me, is at the end of the sugar push, because of time constraints, we did a sugar push, and then we switched over leaders, her right into yours, just right to right. You want to be in handshake position after that. So however you feel comfortable when you're actually dancing socially, you can do that by getting to a right to right. We did add a sugar push in between asking for her left underneath. Okay, well, if you're doing this, you know the move well enough, you don't need it, put a sugar push in between. So we did a sugar push and asked for her left on the bottom. The next four counts are as a whip, normal whip. Guy's gonna go off the truck on one, two. They're just gonna start turning on one, two, and then she's gonna coast her. One, two, three, and four. It's the same footwork as a regular whip, except the hands across and lower. So we're going to go this way just to show you. We're going to go on four. One, two, three, and four. And also what I'm doing as leader is I'm moving off the track to her right to make room for the next part of the move. So then again, going in this direction, one, two, three, and four. And I'm moving off to my right, keeping my left hand, which is her left hand, low. And I'm going to start turning to my right because of what I want to do next. So the next part, we're going to go to four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to lower hers, raise my right, which raises hers. I'm going to start pulling her through on five. I step to my right and open up with the leg raising my right hand. Then turning for six, turn your hand over for seven and eight. So it's a tandem turn at the end of that count. One, two, three, and four. Pull her through on five, six, and then you rotate your wrist over leaders make the hand connection stay. So we're going to go this way with hands already crossed. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? It just takes time to get that hand connection. What you do is very cool. We're going to go one, two, three, and four. Pull her through. And then rotate the wrist over. Then you want to begin right to right. You can do whatever you want. There's a billion different things to do. So we just did a little head loop. We walked in, a little head loop. Okay, it's very simple, but it's a very cool move. Call the Daryl. So sugar. One, two, three, four. We went right to right. And we walk one, two, three, and four. Pull her through to a right to right. And then we did a little head loop or whatever you want to do. Remember the key on that on four. Leaders, as you start to step and turn right, take her left and bring her, push her through so she can come through and you don't bump into her. Thank you, my dear. We will see you next Thursday. We'll have something else for you. Until then, have a great week. Keep dancing. Bye.